Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Ever Oasis for Nintendo 3DS. We're continuing on with the full third dungeon, and we've made it to the final boss, so what's gonna happen? Let's find out. If you guys are excited for it, definitely smash that like button, share the video with a friend, and cheer me on. Get the game, play along with, you know the drill by now, right? You've been here for what, how many episodes? 26 prior episodes? Man, you guys have that commitment. Good job. Good on you. Let me know in the comments if you watched all 26 of them. All right, well, here we are. We got Roto. We also have Abdallah. We got two Bolas user and one sword. So I kind of want to switch it up a little bit, but we'll be all right. All right, input the Easter egg. We got the blue key, the red key, Easter egg. Final boss, here we come. Give me that Lumite now. Oh man, tornado, what? Ah, oh, come on. Why you gotta be so be all noisy and interrupty? Who are you, evil bunny? Can you see I'm busy feeding this chaos? Scat! You know, actually, maybe you should stay right there. This Chaos Kelp fella has been feeding on Chaos all day. Seems he's hankering for a fight. back a little bit okay so that, that's great oh dude having someone that can shoot is so good oh oh losing tentacles shoot him okay that's pretty easy Fifty-three, I ate that. Okay, so please keep shooting that bruising tentacle. Watch out for the other one, too. Like, it'll slam down while the other one just kind of keeps on- Oh my gosh! I gotta heal with a nut! I gotta use the healing fruit! Go! Come on, Roto! Oh man, I get too greedy right there. Shoot it! Just shoot it, box star! Come on. Wow! Eight damage. Oh, 21. I'm gone. Ooh, 26. Oh, 36. Dang! Hold on. to recover because I can't afford to lose right now. Uh, we're going to go with healing fruit. I need you alive. Come on! Thank you. I need... Oh, that's a bomb of sorts. I need to actually heal. Ow, 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 ow. What are we doing? Oh! Wait, the vulnerary works for everyone? Are you kidding me? I thought it was just for one person. I've never used them before. That's great. Ugh, got poisoned. Stop it. Man, we totally need like poison um, resistance here. Oh my gosh, a little poison bomb. This is not fun. This battle is pretty annoying. Issa, just shoot it! Oh my gosh, we're both down. Oh, Issa, you got this, girlfriend. You got this. Get him up. Oh, 
That's a stun bomb. start taking this into my own hands here. Wow, this guy is tough. Please shoot this bruising tentacle. Ow. Wow, really? Good, good. Okay, that's it. Come on, Roto. Oh my gosh, wow. What a, what a boss. Oh my gosh, that was a hard boss. Legitimately a very, very hard boss. Man, we had a lot of units that got knocked out. We had to go and quickly revive them. I learned for the first time that Vulnerers heal the entire team, so having more of those on hand is going to be really good. Wow. Ugh, Snore, you won, I guess. Blast, I'll be seeing myself out then. Later. Who the heck are you? Nope. What? Oh, evil tornado. Oh, is that my brother? The wind's power is so very convenient. Although there's a temporary shell, this body has served its purpose. Meeting you in this form seems nothing short of fate. So you've come to realize, hmm, I'm indeed using your brother's body. I am chaos, as you call me. I loathe the simplicity of joy and happiness. It is a frivolous endeavor. On that day, he inflicted a severe blow to me by harnessing the wind, as you recall. And so I did what was logical. I seized control of him, storing my power within. Once my power is restored, I will consume and destroy every last one of you. Well, can you lay injury upon me? To harm me means to harm your beloved brother. Fuh, weak. Uh, the time has come to leave this place. Huh? We ain't gonna finish him off, boss? We haven't the time to waste on them. My next plan is already in motion. I think that's what it is. All right. Farewell. I'm certain our paths will cross once more soon. So he is the embodiment of chaos. It was he who brought ruin on your brother's oasis. And now he hides inside your brother's body. So cruel and cowardly. Oh, Abdallah, we will find a way to make things right. Well, let's hope so. I kind of miss my oasis. I've been dungeon crawling a lot, so let's go ahead. Let's get this Lumite. The child of the great tree brings the gift of wind. With its power, you have banished chaos from this realm. I am the guardian of the Lumite of this land. Long ago, this place was a beautiful forest created by the Lagora. It was their hope that creating this place might sustain life. Water from the plants was abundant, but not abundant enough. When the Lagora saw their efforts were in vain, they were riddled with fear. The chaos was born of their fear and incessantly, uh, incessant anxiety about sustenance. 
Due to your bravery, the air has been purified here and the chaos no more. You are the savior of this resplendent sorrow forest. I know the Red Lumite will be safe with you. Now harness the power of wind. Show me that green gale. From downtown. Got red Lumite! Yay! With Lumite in hand, your oasis shall be restored to its former brilliance. However, you must never forget, Lumite reflects the spirit of those who touch it. If you allow fear to overtake you, so too shall the Lumite be overtaken. Remember always that empathy, honor, and bravery will serve you well. Hold fast to the light, no matter the cost. This is the third and final Lumite. I wonder if we can now transform our oasis into an everlasting haven, immune to the sting of chaos. Dala, I'll be waiting at the spirit shrine. Cool. We're gonna power up with all three pieces of the Triforce. I kinda wanna tend to my villagers, to be honest. I wanna go see how the residents are doing. I kinda miss being a landlord. I'm running out of money. I got that big level up to 13. Awesome. I got more SP, 300 more. Wow, look at that level up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Roto got moving attack plus. Alright. Uh, let's look. It's 10-10. Jamila, do we need to stock anything? Okay, we restocked a little bit. Uh, how's my garden doing? It's the end of the night, right? So I can't really talk to anyone. Is, has it been like a full day cycle? Yeah, it has. I better grab my stuff and go to bed. Well, I'm here. I might as well just plant, right? Man, what a day. What a day. I kind of miss my garden. I miss growing all this nonsense that doesn't necessarily help me out right away. What's up, dude? Alright, let's go take these. I need more people to tend to these things. Like, I need to call upon the Friends of Mineral Town. You guys remember that game? Any of you guys ever play Harvest Moon? <laughs> Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town was my favorite Harvest Moon. Of course, I haven't played them all, but I remember I was obsessed with that one on the Nintendo DS. I think it was DS. Friends of Mineral Town, what you had to do in that game is, uh, same thing. Harvest Moon, growing crops, meeting people, marrying women, all that stuff. Welcome home, Abdallah. <laughs> Alright, you've done such an excellent job retrieving the Red Lumite. It, I just, your brother, the Chaos, it's also terrible. I can only imagine how you must feel. Please know I'm here for you. For now, we have to keep moving forward to help our oasis. Red Lumite, hear me now. With your cleansing light, heal our oasis. seems my power cannot be activated right now. The Lumite won't respond to my call. This has never happened before. I'm at a bit of a loss. What might I be doing wrong? Perhaps it has nothing to do with me. I'm uncertain how to proceed. I'm sorry. I think I need to take the rest of the evening to meditate on this. You must be too tired too, Abdallah. Better turn in for the evening. Force me to go to bed? Fine. Go to bed. Let's see what's up. So, she can't turn Super Saiyan 3. But, uh, yeah, those Chaos plants lurking outside won't disappear. It's only a matter of time before they take root within the Oasis. Surely the Chief will sort it out for us. Maybe not this time. What will become of our lovely Oasis? I can sense the unease of everyone here in the Oasis. It's unsettling. We managed to gather all the Lumite, and yet I can't seem to activate this one. 
I created this oasis to spread happiness and a sense of security, but even the best laid plans can fall through. Maybe I do just need rest, but I can't help wonder what will happen if I don't sort this all out. Maybe I'm no longer strong enough to speak with the Lumite. I feel the weight of responsibility pressing in on me. That's right, this is your fault. You are powerless. Oh, whoa, pardon you. Rather rude to listen in on one's personal dialogue, don't you think? I am Shiyut. Wait, where did we see the name Shiyut? Before. Not that names matter much. No doubt Abdallah told you all about me. You are chaos rooted within Abdallah's brother. You've stolen his form to serve your needs. Very bright, I see, but not bright enough. There's nothing you can do to protect this place. Your childish play has been cute up until now, but you and Abdallah can't stop the inevitable. Even with the power of Lumite, there is no defeating me. I am nowhere and everywhere. <laughs> Alright, she used. Something feels off. Let's check in with Essen. Okay. What do you mean? I was gonna fast travel to her. Alright, fine, we'll walk. Walking's for suckers, man. <clears throat> Looks like you're too late. Oh gosh. Abdallah. And now my time has come. We shall see. Each loom might reveal its true qualities. Light or dark, which will it be? Here it is, the final reckoning of my power, behold. Patiently I wove darkness into the hearts of so many, amplifying their discontent, so as to create this, the Black Lumite. You've been a hindrance to my progress all along, and yet now you serve my final goal in restoring my power. No, I, I... I wait with bated breath for the healing of the wound bestowed upon me at the hands of your brother. After which I will activate the Black Lumine and devour the final remnants of the light. Light this pathetic place has to offer. Yes! Abdallah, I, I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Hmm, is it your fault? No, I don't think so. Child of the Great Tree and Water Spirit. Hmm, this voice is familiar. We encountered it once before, where we found the Lumite. You two are the last vestige of hope in this frail, desiccated world. Do not wallow in despair. You must move ever something or other. Uh, we are children of the great tree. We once resisted the chaos, but our efforts proved futile. We were defeated. We will dedicate the last of our fading power to strengthen your oasis, our final hope. Getting a little dizzy just watching those things spin around. All right, hey, thank you. The spirits of the Lumites. We have suppressed the chaos here for now. That creature created a massive hole here. Soon, chaos will burst forth. While the hole is yet sealed, we must funnel our energy into the Lumite. We are certain that once the Lumite regains its radiance, the way forward will become clear. 
And now you, the child of the great tree, you shall inherit our hope. Stand strong, stand true, hold fast to the light. You receive the light of the children of the great tree from ancient times. Green Gale has reached level three. Okay. Send forth a vortex of wind, charge it to make the vortex bigger. Thanks to the children of the great tree, the chaos in the oasis is gone for the time being. We have to stop Shiut tomorrow, or somehow, but uh, he's within your brother's body, Abdallah. I'm so deeply sorry, this is all my fault. Okay. Abdallah, what are we gonna do? This break of sunlight between clouds is only a moment of respite from chaos. Once the children of the great tree are drained of their energy, chaos will surely envelop the oasis this time. And I know I'm to blame. My anxiety caused those around me to absorb my stress and feel uneasy too. I was so frightened about what Shiut said, and now the black lumite has formed because of these feelings. Time and again, I was told that Lumite reflects the heart of the one who holds it. I never understood fully until now. The children of the Great Tree have given the very last of their fading light, but now it seems inevitable that our oasis is lost. Young child of the Great Tree and young water spirit, do not despair. That voice. I am known as a great sage Thoth. I have been protecting the world alongside these three souls. Great sage protecting all of us? There is yet a way to combat the Black Lumite. The White Lumite is the it is its opposite. It shines sacred light. With it, the Black Lumite is rendered inert. That's cool. If uh, what you say is true, then with the White Lumite, we can protect the Oasis completely. But how do we obtain it? To produce the White Lumite, we must again illuminate the Red, Blue, and Green Lumite. Child of the Great Tree and Young Water Spirit, you must seek the Eye of Truth. <laughs> Lens of truth much? Okay. Uh, it will guide you towards the Sanctuary of Light where the Lumite can be restored. I place all hope in you, young ones. The fate of the future lies in your hands. I shall await you in the land afar. Come, raise your eyes skyward and travel with lightness of being, dear child of the great tree and young water spirit. Abdal, that voice, did you hear it too? Acquire the Eye of Truth and make our way to the Sanctuary of Light to illuminate the Lumite. That is what we must do now. Abdallah, we must find the Eye of Truth. We have to protect our oasis, the last refuge of our once beautiful land. That's cool. I'm glad that there's a way that we can uh, get that. We do have level 3 Gale now. I kind of want to go back to the Forgotten Forest, go to those two spots where I missed. And, uh, and see what we get out of those treasure chests. But we got a new merchant, we got two new dudes, or maybe a returning dude. Hello again, Niter. Hey, merchant. Who's this? Cyrus. Right. New Cyrus. An oasis, huh? Man, a few words. He's always collecting for accessories. Okay. We need to go get these people. I need to just not stop dungeon crawling for a little bit. Let's let's pace back. Explorers have returned. I'm almost out of money. We're going to go fast travel to the uh, Fountain Plaza. I'm going to go see where these people are at. There's obviously someone here. All right, Shakuro. Give me something new, man. Trouble's brewing, chief. Something dark and ominous flew out of the spring last night. Uh-oh. What is that? Where it tore through is a rift. A rift is now left behind. The chaos was pouring out so abundantly you couldn't get near it. Not until three Lumite lit it up and plugged it anyhow. Oh, I see. Shoot, that must have been so hard on you, Chief. Oh, look at how sad he is. Uh, quest for the Eye of Truth. Sounds so mystical, but uh, what exactly is the Eye of Truth anyway? Anyhow. What is it you want to know about the Eye of Truth, hmm? Mura! Our favorite! I know a fair bit about it. The Eye of Truth is a sacred power that dwells in the hearts of only the strongest warriors. Do you know how one might get their hands on such a relic, Mura? 
I've only heard of it through legends, passed down from one generation to the next. Perhaps the Elder knows more. Abdallah, you should drop by and ask her. She resides in my settlement north of Kadung Pass. Wow, the only hitch is that the stairs leading directly to the encampment are destroyed. I know exactly where that's at. Remember that one drowk that's just hanging out by the, this little sand pillar? Right, let's head to Kandung Pass. Uh, we'll cross those stairs when we get to them, somehow. Now the limits of our dear oasis are put to the test. We will do our utmost to help rid this place of chaos. You can count on us. All right, 43 newts. Give me this merchant. You, Cyrus, what can I do for you? End of story. You want to know more about me? Um, into collecting fashion accessories. I never thought I'd find a scarf in a place like this. Boom. Okay, that's one out of four. You must be really good. You're very neat. So there's sashes here. Ah, irresistible. Okay, we got sashes. Let's go, dude. I got a lot more for you. Come here. Oh, I need a belt. As one lives for stylish accessories, and I need one badly. Ah, uh, who's a belt user? Wait, what? Build. That's a shawl shop. Who builds belts? I remember seeing a villager building belts. Oh, come on. Well, let's go find Niter. I, I don't have a belt shop. Anyway, where's Niter? Niter, man. Niter is another sniper. We need him on the team. Let's go. Before he runs away. Hey, all Niter, where you at, man? That was pretty cool. Here you go. No, you're Cyrus. Well, we made a lot of money right there. Oh, where are you, Niter? Oh, Niter was shopping. You got a wonderful thing, didn't you? What do you need? Donuts. I don't have a donut shop. Sorry, Niter. I mean, what can I even put? Juice shop. Juice shop is doing pretty well. It's like almost there. Oh no, we made some mad cash though. Alright, well, here's the deal. You want something. Soup Shack is doing really well. It's almost at three star. So I'll take the stamp, for starters. And then we need to get you on your three star chat. It's because of that acorn tree. Oh, I'm glad my soup has supporters, but when letters come pouring into my shop every day, it leaves me in a bind. I don't know what to do with the one-way stream of constant words from this fan, so I decided to meet him. I'll be on the spiral pit to have a chat. I'm honestly anxious about doing this. Would you mind going with me? I guess. Okay, here we go. Husney's coming with us. We're gonna bring uh, Hosni, and we're also gonna bring um, by the Spiral Pit, huh? Okay, that's very interesting. Let's go back to the back road. Oh no, that's not it. We're going to the back road, see what's up, and then we're gonna go do Hosni's quest after we figure out who's in here. Please, someone speak up around here. It bothers me. What do you mean? Ah! Now I'm stuck. Oh, pinwheel shop. Oh, pinwheel shop's ready to go too. All right, here we go. Uh, let's let's look at the pinwheel shop really quick. He wants to level up to level two, so let's give him. All right, what do you want? I hope that he just wants like, hey, give me two new threads and I'll hook it up. Do you have, do you have any whirly beads? Yeah, I got a, a boatload of them. How many do you need? I have seven, take them. No, I have them. I, okay, fine, come here. I just didn't want to go talk to the other dude really quick, 
So I've got this thing. We're going to level his shop up to part two. And we should be set. I got plenty. Take him. Oh, there were so many other things, right? Sweet donut? What is that quest? I forget about it. Here we go. Take three whirly beads. You got it. Enjoy. I will take your moonstone. Or a sunstone. I gotta evolve my sun kern. Alright. <laughs> sun kern. That is the worst Pokemon. Anyway. You good here or what? Boom. Awesome job. Okay, good job. I don't even use you, but welcome to the team. Alright, so we need to go back uh, to the main road. We're going to accept Dude's Quest to become a, tr a three star. Didn't I do this? I could have sworn I did this one. There's still a lot of things that we need to do. I'm just realizing this right now. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. Alright, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to save, and what we will do on the next episode is we'll tend to our crops, and then we got at least two quests that we can we can figure out. We'll do sweet donuts, and then we'll go uh, with Hosni over to the spiral pit and see exactly what's going on with some sort of fan, a misunderstanding. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to continue on with even more Ever Oasis. Uh, you guys can indeed smash that like button if you enjoyed today's episode and want to see more by clicking on this playlist, newest video, and of course some recommendations. Right over here is where you can subscribe. It's absolutely free. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, and Ever Oasis content. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.